Um, I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Um, got to see some cool fireworks. I know I did. Um, a little birdie told me that Monday is somebody's birthday. Do you guys know whose it is? Um, can we all wish her a happy birthday? Happy birthday, Lily. Um, we hope you have a great day celebrating. Are you guys ready to see what the game is for this month? So for this month, we're going to do a scavenger hunt as our game. Um, so you can try and find as many items as you can on this list um, and take a picture of them and send them to us. You can find things such as a star, stripes, something red, something blue, something white, um, Amer an American flag, some fireworks, streamers, sparklers, sunshine, barbecue, the number four, something that says USA, glow stick, parade, or decorations. Um, and yeah, just take a picture with them and send them to us because we'd love to see how many you're able to find. Hey guys, hey. For our craft today, we're going to be making Statue of Liberty crown and torches. Now in your packet, you should have all gotten one of these, seven of these, and three sheets of paper, orange, yellow, and green. Other things you're going to need, you're going to need a pencil, you're going to need some scissors, you're going to need some markers, and you're going to need some tape or glue. I'm going to use tape. Now, in case you didn't get a packet and you want to know how to make the crown part, it's really simple. I've got to take a paper plate and your scissors, and you're just going to cut the bottom of the plate off like that. And then you're just going to cut the inside of the plate out. I'm just going to cut off the little edges to make it straight. That. So there you got the main part. And then with this, from this is where you're going to cut your little triangle points, which are the points on the crown. So you're just going to cut out, you cut out seven of these, like that. So that's how you can do it if you don't have the packet. All right. Well, the first thing you're going to do is I want you, with your markers, you're going to pick a color. What color do you want your crown and thing to be? Or you can do multiple colors. I'm going to do green, because the Statue of Liberty is actually green, kind of a green metal color. So I'm going to do green. And you're just going to take your green, and I recommend on these ones, if you do it on the side that isn't the glossy side, but the, the dull side, it'll, it's easier to color. And just however you want to color, you're going to color it, fill in all the spots. And color the whole your whole thing, and then you're also going to color your little spikes, your little points of the crown. Color those. So when you're all done, each little spike will be colored like that. All right. So. If you want to pause right now and finish your coloring, and then when you're done, come back. So the next step, we've got our crown all colored, and we've got our spikes, our little points of the crown, all colored. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your tape, and take a little piece, and you're going to pick out which point you want to be in your center. So I'm going to pick out, this is going to be my center of my crown. And I'm going to tape it right like that in the 
center. See, like that. And then I'm going to put the other ones also around as well. See, I'm just putting a piece of tape on the back and just taping them down. All seven of them. You ever had the problem where tape sticks together for you? It did that for me. Tape all your seven little points or your crown down. So when it's all done, it'll look like that. There's your crown. So you can kind of see. See, there's 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 my Statue of Liberty crown. All right. Now. We're going to make the torch. Got a crown done. In your packet, you got three sheets of cardstock. That's heavy paper in yellow, green, and orange. And we're going to use the green piece to make our torch. So take your green piece and you can roll it in whichever, there's two different, you can roll it like short way and make a, a short little torch or you can roll it the long way and make a tall torch like that. I'm going to make a tall torch, okay? So take some tape. You may need an adult to help you with this. More more hands. Put one piece right there, flip it around, put one piece right there, and then I'm going to put one piece in the middle, hold it all together. See, there I got the basic part of my torch. Now you're going to need your scissors and you're going to cut some little divots about that long into the top of your torch. And I'm putting them about, oh, about that far apart a little bit. So just All the way around. See? Come all the see? Like that little yeah. Alright. Now the next part you're gonna do, you should have all got you need a pencil, and you have your two sheets of orange and yellow paper. And we're gonna make the flame for the torch. And so, and you can draw your flame however you like. Some people draw a flame kind of like. that. Or you could draw a flame like that. Or even like kind of a bigger one. Like that. And you're going to do th three or four on each piece of paper. You're going to 
draw those. You can draw some, I did my, just some yellow ones and you can draw some orange ones too. And then you're gonna cut them out. So you're gonna get your scissors. And it's okay if you need an adult to help you cut the flames. And it's okay if you don't cut perfectly in the lines. Kind of make it, make whatever you want. You're making your little flame. Cut straight across at the bottom. Cut them out, you'll make something like that. There are different, all different kinds of shapes. And then you're going to fold them in half, so slightly. Make it kind of a fold increase in the middle and then unfold it. So it's like that. All right? All right. Well, now that you've got your, your torch, all those little marks cut and you've got your flames all cut. Mine, see all different kinds of shapes. I'm gonna start with the big ones. And I'm gonna put them, stick them in just like that. Put a little piece of tape to hold it down. And I'm gonna put the other big one, the yellow one, on the opposite side. Take that one down. And then I'm going to alternate the colors around. So like put an orange one next to a yellow one and a yellow one next to an orange one. And if you have to change your little divots a little bit, that's okay too. done it'll look something like that there's your torch so when you're all done you'll have your torch and your crown like the Statue of Liberty and if you want to send us your picture with you wearing your crown and holding up your torch we'd love to get your pictures today I'll be reading I'll walk with you if you don't walk as most people do some people walk away from you I won't. I won't. I'll walk beside and match your stride. That's how I'll, I'll show my love for you. If you don't talk as most people do, some people talk and laugh at you. But I won't. I won't. I'll talk with you and giggle too. That's how I'll show my love for you. If you don't look like some people do, some people just look down on you. I won't. I won't. I will see you're made perfectly. That's how I'll show my love for you. If you're not as young as some are young, some people think you're just no fun. But I won't. I won't. I'll listen to and learn from you. That's how I'll show my love for you. If you were born far, far away, some people think you should not stay. But I won't. I won't. I know you bring such interesting things, but that's how I'll show my love for you. If you don't pray as some people pray, some people pray you'll go away. But I won't. I won't. We're all I see when family. That's how I'll show my love for you. If you can't buy expensive stuff, some people think you're not good enough. But 
I won't, I won't. I'll look inside where treasures hide. That's how I'll show my love for you. If you don't love as some people do, some people think your love's not true. But I won't, I won't. I'll watch you share, I'll see you care. That's how I'll show my love for you. If you don't think as some people do, some people have no use for you. But I will, I will. Our thoughts will play and stay all day. That's how I'll show my love for you. I'll walk with you and talk with you. That's how I'll show my love for you. Hey guys, so we thought we'd offer our own little 4th of July fireworks to you here tonight. Uh, but, and, so we wanted, I wanted to remind you, this, this is not, fireworks is not something any one of you should be doing. It should be something you should have an adult, and you need to be extra careful. It's things, precautions, you can see I've got buckets over here that are full of water, ready to go. I've got a hose, it's ready to spray. I've got a grabber to grab them and put them in the bucket. But it, you want to be extra careful uh, with, with fireworks. But we hope you in, enjoy our little firework display, show tonight. And we're wishing you all a happy 4th of July. So here's our first one. Thank you. Hey guys, hey. It's been so great to have you guys join Morgan and I for Junior Youth Group today. We've had a great time with you and we look forward to being back with you soon. Well, as you can see, I am sporting my Statue of Liberty crown 
and torch. Uh, I hope you will send us pictures of your, you and your Statue of Liberty crowns and torches. We would love to see your pictures too. Did you know that the Statue of Liberty was completed October 28, 1886? It was a, a gift from France and that it was done by Frederick Auguste Bartholdi and Alexander Gustave Eiffel. Now, did you, and now you probably noticed that the last name of the last guy sounds kind of like Eiffel Tower, right? Well, after he helped finish the Statue of Liberty in France, he helped do the Eiffel Tower. The Statue of Liberty stands at 305 feet tall. You can see it from miles out of the New York Harbor. Now, on the base of the Statue of Liberty is a powerful poem that when you get a little older, I'm sure you'll learn more about. But the message, ultimately, of those words on that poem is it calls us as a nation to be a place of welcome, a place where people can come and be free. Now, we recognize that there's still a lot of work that our nation has to do because there's still people that are not free, whose rights are not being honored. But the Statue of Liberty is there to inspire us, to challenge us, to call us to that better world, to that work. Now, the work of justice and compassion. Our scripture this, for this morning is Micah 6, 8, which says, what does God require of you but that you do justice? that you live kindly and you walk humbly with your God. Thanks for joining us for Junior Youth Group. We'll see you next time. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties above the soul.